Oh, it was, was, I'm so emotional when I walk in. I feel like, a, I feel so happy. This is my life. I, I don't do nothing, don't go out. I just train, 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 and I want to fight. And for three years, I can't. So when I walk in, I feel like emotional a lot. And uh, when my right hand get him, so I just think I need to go out and say thank you, God. And just that's why I run away. <laughs> that's uh, my plan. We know you as a jiu-jitsu expert. To, to go in there and do that with your hands. Yeah, very, now, very proud of that. I know, but I'm an MMA fighter now, right? <laughs> and I work hard. I work really hard in my boxing with Giovanni Diniz, my coach, with Alexi with the Emerson Falcon, my kickboxing, so I have a great great team behind me, so giving me all support, and uh, sometimes work, sometimes yeah, I did a good job. You've been away for a while, but some people might have forgotten that, you know, before you knocked out Kevin Lee, now you come back with another huge knockout win. Where do you feel, your, what's your position in the lightweight division now? Where do you see yourself going forward? Yeah, uh, this is to ask for the, the guy who worked for the ranking. Yeah, you ask him, I, I win five, five fights straight. So I never see my name in the top 10. So I get a tie to ask him, put my name there, put it in there, and nobody put it. So now I need to, I, I don't want to ask for names, big names. I just want to enjoy the road. And uh, for sure, my name will show up there. And uh, I will change this division. Because the people just look for my jiu-jitsu. And now I can see I can knock the people out. And when the people start to pay attention to my hands, I finish people, make it up in jiu-jitsu. That's the, by my plan. <laughs> Uh, was 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 hard for me. Was hard. I think a lot, many times to to stop the fight, stop it, the competition. So, but uh, like I say, I love do. I love to do this. I love it. Train. I love it. Fight. I love UFC. So I can't give up it now. I have it, I have more energy to do more more fights. Of course, of course. I stay, I think, two days, two, three days here. I want to, it's, it's the first time here, so I can't go home and uh, I want to know this, this beautiful place. And I want to eat good food here too. <laughs> That's my plan. Okay, thank you. I will do. Was it harder for you to get down to your weight class now? Oh, yeah. Was it the gap away? Was it? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. It was three years the last yeah. time, right? So I forgot the, the hard time. <laughs> 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 I love fight, but cut to weight is hard for me. I'm too tall for 155, so it was a hard time. But I'm mean, I mean, very professional. If I sign the contract for 155, I die, but I put the 155 in the scales. How active would you like to be this year, considering you were away for so long? Oh, I just train, stay with my friends, be corny with my, my friends, Jose Aldo, BJ Penn. All the time I, I stay inside, my mind is stay there. I help, it. I be coach with my friends too. So that's what I, I did when I stay far. Huh? How did you rate Stevie Ray? A lot of in Europe, he's very well respected. What did you think of Stevie Ray as an opponent before your fight? No, when I saw when I saw his name, I I stood him. It's a great name. It's hard name. It's tough fight. I, I'm think UFC don't like me <laughs> because why put one guy like this uh, three years away, far away? Why don't, don't I don't know invite one new guy? Let me let me warm up. But no, put the hard fight for you. It's a statement. Huh? A statement yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but uh, it's my job, I need to fight, I need to survive. <laughs> and if you were to get a bonus tonight, how would you, uh, how would you plan spending that? Oh, churrasco, you know what's me, churrasco? Me? Uh, barbecue, yeah, barbecue oh. in Brazil, churrasco. I do churrasco for my friends, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs>